Hello, good day. So for this video, we'll be talking about the design of doubly reinforced rectangular beam. So background lang muna tayo. Paano nga, bakit nga ba nagkakura ng doubly reinforced rectangular beam? Usually, nag the doubly reinforced tayo if yung Romo is greater than Romax na. Bakit? Kasi, hindi na kinakaya nung uh, design moment mo yung required moment. So therefore, kailangan mo lakasan yung beam. So there are a few things to consider para malakasan mo yung beam. Paano? Lakihan mo yung section. Diba? The problem is, pag nilakihan mo yung section, for architectural reason, papangit na siya. Diba? So, at mahal pa. Kasi, syempre, lumalaki nga. Pero yun, unang reason dun is, mapangit yung structure for architectural reason. So, para may help din natin yung para mag-economical din, we will make it doubly reinforced. Paano yun? Kinukulang na yung strength ng bakal mo. iba Kulang na eh. Ito yung original natin eh. Ito yung una natin sa single reinforce. Ang problema, kinukulang na yung moment mo, so para lumakas siya, lalagyan mo siya ng bakal, di ba? Kasi hindi mo babagoy yung section. Kung hindi mo babagoy yung section. ba diba? Kasi pag binagoy yung section for architectural reason, pangit, malaki. So ang gagawin mo, dadadagam yung bakal. ba diba? Lagyan mo na ES2. Now, the problem is, pag nilagyan mo yung ES2, hindi na magka hindi na magkakaroon ng, hindi na couple yan, hindi na equal yung force. And, magiging compression control. Diba? Kasi, una, nabib, dahil sobrang dami nilagay na bakal, ako na bibigyan yung concrete mo, bibigyan yung concrete. That is why, kailangan din natin maglagay na compression steel na AES prime. Para, yung dinagdag mo na AES2, Ma-counter, ano niya, ma-counter uh, load niya, yung moment mo, mag-equal yung, yung AS mo dito sa ilalim, mag-equal dun sa force mo, dun sa compression side. So, magkakaroon na sila ng couple, di ba? So, dito, ang mo total moment natin, nominal moment natin, no, is MN1 plus MN2. Ang MN1 is just the moment na nakukuha natin before. Diba? Sa so single reinforce. Na yung distance niya, perpendicular distance nila, is D minus A over 2. Now, dinagdagan natin yung panibago ng, dag, ng moment. Para mga magkasya eh. Kasi kulang yung moment natin ng AS2. Diba? Kulang yung moment natin sa dag tayong AS2 and AS prime. Then, makakakrate tayo ng force dito na CS or the compression uh, steel which is AS prime times S, uh, FS prime. Ang counter ano niya, force niya is AS2 FY. Okay? So, ito ang um, distance nila is D minus D prime. So, uh, from that, we can say that T1 is equal to C CC. Yan yung una natin sa single reinforce. Diba? CC is equal to T1. T2 is equal to CS. Ang total area natin ng bakal is AS1 plus AS2. Ang AS prime, iba na yan. Compression still yan. Then MN is MN1 plus MN2. Therefore, what is the moment? Diba? Sabi natin, MN1, MN2. So, ang moment natin ngayon is pwedeng C, uh, CC multiply to D minus A over 2 plus MN2, which is CS multiply to D minus D prime. Diba? So, nadadag dito yung FS prime, ang FS prime natin dito or the yield strength or stress ng bakal doon sa compression side, that is 600 multiplied by 1 minus D over C. D prime over C, sorry. So D prime is the distance from the extreme fiber, top extreme fiber, eto, top extreme fiber, to the centroid of the compression steel. Okay? So... That is the introduction. So this is the step. These are the step in getting the tension steel 
and the compression steel in doubly reinforced beam. Okay. So, you may take a shot of this para magkaroon kayo ng kopya. But, I will discuss it and have a sample of it. Of it. So, first, sa so tension steel, ito yung kinukuha lang natin before, you get the AS. What is this AS? AS1. This AS1 is the AS maximum. Doon sa single reinforce. Diba? So, ang AS1 natin, Pag lumagpas ka na sa Romax before dun sa single reinforce, AS is equal to Romax BD. Pwede yung gamitin. Or pwede rin to. Ito, sa yung ginamit ko naman, is CC is equal to T1. Okay lang din yun. But for the sake of this presentation, I will use this one. And you may check it using, uh, you may check it uh, on your own pag gagamitin mo na yung Romax. Okay? So, this is the AS Max. Diba? Next, is you solve for excess moment. Ano to excess moment? For example, ang moment mo kasi, gamit yung ES max na to is 300 lang, e ang required mo is 100, ah, uh, 400. Ano yung excess moment mo? 100. So, that is MN2. So, you will use that MN2 or moment, uh, excess moment to solve for AS2, yung additional area ng bakal na ilalagay mo. Diba? So, finally, AST or total is AS1 plus AS2. Bakit? Isa pa, para palatandaan mo ha. Bakit kailangan magdobli? Para him iwasan mo yung compression control. Kasi, pa nagdagdag ka ng AS2, tas hindi ka naglagay ng bakal dun sa compression side, hindi na equal yung couple. Hindi na sila couple. Why? Di ba sa singular reinforce, yung compression side mo, Yung force nun is equal na dun sa AS1. Now, kung magladagdag ka ng AS2, mag-equal pa ba sila? Hindi. So, sa doubly reinforce, nire-reinforce din natin yung compression side para mag yung bakal. At para maging tension uh, controlled section siya. Okay? So, that's it for the tension steel. Now, if may tanong na how many rebars will be used? Hmm. Paano kung may tanong na how many rebirths will be used? Therefore, N is equal to AS over AB lang para, singly, uh, para sa singular reinforce. Total over the individual area. Okay? So, sa compression steel, paano naman siya kinukuha? First, you check yung FS prime. Check mo yung, steel, uh, yung uh, stress ng uh, bakal din sa uh, compression side. Using 600 multiplied by 1 minus D prime over C. So, after checking that, you solve for AS prime. Using what? Ang AS prime, pwede mo itong gamitin. CS is equal to CT, uh, T2. Kasi makukuha mo AS prime. Pero kailangan mo muna yung AS2. Diba? Pag in-equate mo sila, kasi couple sila, pwede mo equate. Kaya meron tayong ganito. AS prime is equal to AS2 FY. Now, but dalawa? Meron tayong displaced concrete is neglected and if not neglected. Ano tong usually ang ginagamit diyan yung not neglected. Why? Ano yung sabi nito? 'Di ba ang ang form ang force is just area times the stress. But so double reinforce kasi sa compression part, sa compression steel. Yung force mo diyan, yung stress ng bakal mo diyan nabawasan ng ano? nabawasan yung stress mo dyan ng 0.85 FC prime. Kasi yun yung displaced concrete. Kaya naglagay, nagbawas ka ng 0.85 FC prime. Kasi hindi na buo yung strength ng bakal mo, stress ng bakal mo. Okay? So, that's it. For the introduction, and I hope you uh, somehow get the gist of it. So, Let's proceed to the problem. Sample problem number one. So, this is just a basic problem. And, uh, ganti yung usual na lumalabas sa board exam. Diba? So, first, a, a reinforced concrete beam has a width of 300 mm and a total depth of 550 mm. Effective co cover 
to the centroid of tension bar C60 mm. Compressive reinforcement will be placed at D prime 60 mm. Okay. Fc prime is 21 megapascal and Fy is 415 megapascal. If the beam is uh will um mali yung grammar is to carry a factored moment of 402 kilonewton meter sa so natin. Okay, ano na lang. Sorry for that. The beam carries an a factored moment of 402 kilonewton meter that are mean the required area of tension and compress compression steel reinforcement. So, in have dito yung AS total and AS prime. Design the beam under tension control section. Use NCP 2015. Diba? First, ano ang gagawin natin? Alam mo na baka agad na doubly reinforce siya? No. So, check it first for the singular reinforced, diba? Ano una? Paano mo i-check yun kung ano siya, kung doble siya? You get the MU. But you have MU na, diba? So, you solve for RN, diba? So, solve for RN. So, uh, tinitreat muna natin siya as singular reinforced, ha? Solve for RN. RN is MU over phi BD squared. Now, sabi dito, tension control mo daw siya i-design. So, you have 402 times 10 raised to 6 all over 0 0.9 kasi tension control, iba 300. Ano ang D natin? Ang D natin dito is 550 minus 60. Kung may magkamali dun, ha? Bakit 550 minus 60? Bakit hindi 550 lang? Yung 550 kasi nyo is the total depth of the beam. E di ba, kailangan mo is the effective depth. Ano yung effective depth? You subtract the effective, uh, the concrete cover. Diba? So, ang concrete cover mo dito, effective concrete cover mo is 60. So, 550 minus 60, that would be 490. So, that is squared. Diba? So, 402 times 10 raised to 6. So, what would be Rn? Solving for Rn, we'll have 402 times 10 raised to 6. 0.9 times 300 times 490 squared. So, you have 6.201 or store to... Okay. Okay. Masani kayo na nag store para pag sa board exam hindi kayo nag-round off. Diba? Para exact value makukuha mo. So now, we solve for rho. Anong rho natin before? 0 0.85 Fc prime over Fy multiply by 1 minus square root of 1 minus 2 Rn all over 0 0.85 Fc prime so, FC prime natin is 21, uh, 21 megapascal. FY is 415. RN is this 6.2. So, you can solve that, uh, that tron na. 0 0.85. FC prime is 21. 415. 1 minus square root of 1 minus... So, may kita habit na isulat nyo muna yung formula bago kayo mag-solve. Diba? Uh, lalo pa nag-e-start pala kayo mag-memorize. Kasi pag sinusulat nyo siya, natatandaan nyo. Diba? So, this is 0 0.01925. So, that is raw. So, you have to compare it to what? Raw mean and raw max. But in this case, since isa lang yung 0 niya, Sa raw max ko na lang siya check Hindi ko na check sa raw mean. Kasi sa raw mean, panagrado, pasado siya. Kasi ang raw mean, usually, tatlo ang zero niya. Diba? So, we check it to 
the uh, Romax na lang. Now, since we want to make it tension controlled, ano yung gagamitin natin? Romax. Yung 0.005. Which is 3 over 8 yung factor niya, di ba? So, Romax. Tension control is 0.85 Fc prime all over Fy beta 1 multiplied by 3 over 8 dt over d diba? which is usually equal to 1 lang yan diba? so 0.85 Fc prime for 15 Fy 85 Ang beta natin dito is what? Since our beta, since our FC prime is less than 28, our beta would be 0.85. Diba? 3 over 8. So, ang DT over D mo, uh, assume lagi na one layer lang muna siya. So, that is 1 lang. Diba? Nagiging 1 lang yan eh. So, ang raw max mo is 0. 01371 Okay. So you can see here that in order to make it tension controlled, kailangan na maximum ang raw max mo hanggang di ang ang raw mo hanggang 0. 0.01371 lang. But yung raw mo is lumagpas. 'Di ba? Naging 0. 0.01925. Saan so, gagawin mo? Laki mo yung uh, section. Kaso, for architectural reason, papangis siya. So, kailangan mo maglagay ng compression reinforcement para mag na siya. Para tension control pa rin siya. Diba? So, in that case, double reinforce na to. Why? Kasi, ang Romo is greater than Romax. Therefore, DRB. Okay, so let's proceed now to DRB solution. So first step is you solve for AS, ba? AS1. So to solve AS1, we have a formula. Uh, 0.85 FC prime AB over uh, over uh, FY, di ba? AS prime, uh, AS1, sorry, is 0.85 FC prime. A, B, over, F, Y. Now, ano yung A? Yung A mo dito, isasagad mo. Therefore, ang A na gagamitin mo dyan is A max. Now, what is the formula for A max? Ang A, diba, is just beta times C. But C max ang gagamitin mo. Since we, we want to make it uh, tension controlled, ang C-max mo is what? Ang C-max mo na tension controlled is wait para magkasya. Ano ba ang C-max ng tension controlled? Formula ng C is uh, wait, 0. 0 0.003 all over 0 0.003 plus epsilon s multiply by what? Uh, ito yung formula natin doon. So, yan. This formula. dt. So, multiply to dt. Multiply to dt. Ay. Dt. Or last layer. So, therefore, kung tension control siya, yung ES mo dyan is 0 0.05. 0 0.0005. Therefore, magiging 3 over 8 dt lang yan. So, that is C max. Under tension control. Pero under the code, kung gagamitin mo yung 0 0.004 para mas matipid ka, Ang gagamitin mo dyan is 3 over 7 dt. Diba? But in this case, we want to make this, uh, we want to make the section tension controlled. So, 3 over 8 ang gagamitin natin. Okay? So, this one would be 0 0.005. 
and again 3 over 8 dt okay so let's solve for as1 as1 is 0 0.85 fc prime a is beta 1 so 0 0.85 times c ano c 3 over 8 dt ano yung dt natin of course equal lang yan dun sa d which is 490 diba all multiply by b ano yung b this is a eh? 3 over 8 multiply by 490 that is the a what is b ano na ngayon b na to b is 300 all over to fy diba ang fy natin is 415 Okay? nag kaya yan? Of course! Why? Kasi di ba kulang nga yung force mo? So, isabihin, bibigay na talaga siya. So, mag yield talaga yung bakal. So, that is FY. Uh, so, now, we will solve AS1. What is AS1? 0 0.85 85 FC prime which is 21. Yung FC prime natin, 21. I'm sorry, uh, I forgot to change it na. So, alagay mo na lang. 0 0.85 times 3 over 8 times DT, which is 490, multiplied by 300, all over 415. So, that is 2,000. Um, wait. 2,015. mm squared now is that the only solution we can use this row then uh, check mo to ha as 1 is raw max bd check nyo yan ano lalabas nyan equal lang yan dapat almost equal di ba so 0 0.01371 times bd and D is 490. So, lalabas 215.37. So, equal lang, di ba? So, choose your fighter. Uh, there are some problems kasi na pinapahanap din yung A max. O kaya C max. So, mamili ka lang sa dalawa. Importante, makuha mo yung AS1. Okay? So, now that we have AS1, ano yung next step? Ano ba yung next step, sabi? Next step is, Solve for the excess moment. Diba? Solve for excess moment. Ang uh, excess moment natin is... Lagay ko nandiyo sa gitna. MN2. Pero ang MN2 is MN minus MN1. Diba? Wala. Ang MN natin, ano MN natin? That could be MU over phi. Equal lang yan, diba? Ang MN1 is AS1 FY times D minus A over 2. Yung A natin dyan, yung maximum. Kung tesyo control, D3 over 8. Okay? So, we have MN2. So, using that, you can solve MN2 402 over uh, 0 0.9 times 10 raised to 6 to minus AS1 ang AS1 natin is 215.38 multiply by FY 415 multiply by D which is 490 minus A max ano A max natin dito solve na natin siya that's the reason but maganda rin siya isosolve ay hindi pa natin siya sana solve pero alam na natin formula 3 over 8, 490, uh, beta, uh, multiply to 0 0.85 pa pala, kulang. Yan. Kasi diba, ang aim is beta C max. Ang C max natin, 3 over 8 dt, pero multiply mo siya sa beta, which is 0 0.85. So, we'll have over 2. We'll have MN2. 
Kasi you don't need to write that in this term, ha? You may solve first yung mn1, then solve for mn, tapos ako pag-subtrakin. Okay lang yan. Pinahaba lang natin dito. For O2, times 10 raised to 6, 0.9, minus 2O15, 0.38, times 4.15, 4.90, minus 0.85, 3 over 8 dt is 490 all over 2 so we'll have the excess moment of divided by 10 raised to 6 ka pa baka makalimutan nyo 102 102.16 kilonewton meter so this is the excess moment so, using that excess moment, meron ka ng, what? Makakakuha ka na ng AS2. How do you solve for AS2? ba? Sabi dito, to solve AS2, you just simply equate MN2 to its formula. ba? Ang formula MN2 is AS2 FY D minus D prime. Ito yun eh. Uh, MN2 O, oh, MN2 is this. Pwede gamitin yan eh. Diba? So, using this formula, i-divide mo lang both term, makakancel to, tapos eto ni magiging formula. AS2, so, AS2 is just MN2 all over all over FY D minus D prime. Okay? So, 102.16 times 10 raised to 6 all over FY, which is 415, multiplied by D, which is 490. Diba? Don't uh, make a mistake with that. 550 is the overall depth, total depth. 490 is the effective. You have to div uh, subtract uh, 550 ng 60 dahil 60 yung effective co cover. So, dito, ba't ka pa magsusubtarak ulit ng 60? Yung 60 na to is yung D prime. Yan kasi yung perpendicular distance sila. Para maging moment, di ba? So, using that, AS2 is what? 102.16 490 minus 60 times 10 raised to 6. So you have 572.49 mm squared. So yan yung, ex ito yung additional uh, reinforcement, di ba? So what is the AS total now? Ang AS total mo na ngayon is AS total is AS1 plus AS2. What is the answer? 572 plus 215.38 plus 572.49 AS total is Two thousand five hundred eighty seven point eighty seven mm squared. Okay, so that's the answer for detention steel reinforcement. Ba? Next is the compression steel reinforcement naman. Niba. Dito, pag ang tinatanong na yung bakal, dami ng bakal, medyo tricky na siya. Siguro in the next problem natin siya pakita. But dito kasi yung tinatanong pa lang is AS. So, if area pa lang tinatanong dito, may decimal pa tayo eh. Diba? Okay? So, okay. Proceed tayo sa, ito na yung answer for tension steel. Tension reinforcement
Next is the compression reinforcement. How do you solve that? First is we check the steel, uh, stress ng steel, di ba? Ano yung stress ng FS prime mo? Sa so compression uh, part. So that is 600 multiplied by 1 minus D prime over C. Diba? Ang C mo is yung C max. Diba? So you'll have 600 multiplied by 1 minus D prime which is 60. Hindi na yan D ah. D prime na. Ang C max mo is C is just 3 over 8 times DT. Diba? Ah, lagay mo lang ulit. Ang DT mo is 490. Tama? Therefore, ang FS prime, FS prime mo is 600 1 minus 60 over 3 over 8. Again, bakit 3 over 8 in place of 3 over 7? Kasi di ba, ang maximum is 3 over, uh, 3 over 7 talaga. Kasi 0 0.004 yung strain. That's most of the cases dun sa mga book. Bakit dito? 3 over 8. Because it, we want to make the stru uh, structure or the section tension controlled. Especially in the board exam of the Philippines, they're using tension controlled lagi. So, I'm using 3 over 8. Okay. So, 419. Tama ba? So, 404. Oh, I 404.09 megapascal. Therefore, it is less than FY. So, yung steel mo pala dun sa compression side, hindi siya nag yield Therefore, you have to use this stress. Okay? Sa FS prime. Dun tayo. Next, since alam mo na yung stress, ano yung game mo? is solve for AS prime. So, in this figure, makita mo, magagamit natin AS prime, pag in natin siya sa CS is equal to T2. Okay? But, the problem is, nineglect ba dito yung displaced concrete or not? Pag hindi sinabi kong nineglect, you have to neglect it. Ito kasing formula na to is, if hindi neglected yung displaced concrete, Paano kung neglected? You have to subtract 0 0.85 FC prime. Diba? So, let's now make it. So, CS is equal to T2 which is AS prime FS prime minus 0 0.85 FC prime all over I equal to AS2 FY, dito nag na siya. Diba? So, now, i-plug the, uh, the formula, i the uh, values, AS would be AS2 FY all over FS minus 0 0.85 FC prime. So, AS2 is what? AS2 is mm, 572.49 all over FS which is 404.09 I'm sorry I forgot to multiply the FY which is 415 Iba 415 nga ba yan? Oh, tama 415 ginamit sa problem Minus 0 0.85 FC prime is 21. Therefore, ang AS prime natin is 572.49 times 415 all over 404.09 minus 0 0.85 FC prime. So, the answer is 615.12 mm squared. So that's the answer. So this answer is D4 compression reinforcement. Okay? So you know.
So, ano yung sabi ko kanina ng three-part? For this problem, eto na sagot. Okay? Pero paano kung ang tanong is dami ng bakal? May may iba lang ng konti. For example, let's use... Wait. Uh, I will just think of a number. Over uh, pi of 4 times t squared. Oh, let's say, let's use 25 mm. Kung hari, ang tinatanong na is, the number of tension or reinforcement if you will use 25 mm and the number of compression reinforcement if you will use uh, 25 mm. Dito sa tension reinforcement, walang problema. Kasi, AS2, eh, yung AS mo na yan, iba yung kulay, yung kulay para maano, for example, uh, iba na to ah. If, lagi na dito, if number of reinforcement Okay? So, ang AST natin, ang N natin sa tension side is AST all over AB. So, if 25mm mo gagamitin natin, uh, diameter, ano ba diameter? Diameter for is 25, alang, dB is 25mm. So, 2, 5, 87.87 .87, all over pi over 4 times 25 mm squared. So, the answer would be 5, 2, 5, 87.87 .87 all over pi over 4 times 25 squared. So, the answer is 5.27. So, 5.27 yung dami ng bakal daw sa tension reinforcement. Pero, kasi di ba ito, ira-round off natin yan to 6 pieces of 25 mm diameter bars. Okay? ba 6 na siya. Therefore, yung AS1 mo, okay, tama yan. Pero yung AS2 mo, nadagdagan. Bakit? Kasi tamo, from 0.21 at 27, nadagdagan siya ng mapunta sa 6. 5.27 Papunta 6. So, ibig sabihin, yung AS2 mo, hindi itong 572. Intention reinforcement, that is not crucial. Kasi, ang kinukuha mo lang naman, yung total. Pero kasi, pagdating sa compression reinforcement, you need to get the AS2. ba? So, kung ang number na bakal ang, ang hinahanap, sa AS2, mapabago ka. Why? Kasi, you have to solve AS2 muna. ba? You have to solve AS2. How do you solve the AS2? Ah, ito. Di ba? Ang formula ng AS total is AS1 plus AS2. Since ang AS total mo ngayon, iba na, dahil nga naging 6 na yung ano mo, hindi 5.7. Ito kasi required, 5.27. But, ang ginamit mo na ngayon 6, may iba na AS total mo. Ano ngayon na AS total mo? It's just simply number of bars times area ng isang bakal. Diba? Yun lang yun. Tapos, ang AS1 mo is what? AS1 mo, hindi mo na kailangan solve. Ang AS1 mo is 215. 2015. Point 38. Plus AS2. Masasolve mo na ngayon yung actual AS2. Actual na to ha. Ito kasi yung required AS2. Kasi AS lang inahar natin dyan. Area lang inahar natin. But in this case, we're looking for the number. Sorry. So, subtract mo lang yan. Makakuha ka ng 6 pi over 4 times 25 squared. 
minus 2 0.15 0.38 to 9.86 okay 86mm tamo di ba ang laki ng nabago ngayon etong ES no muna to yan yung gagamitin mo ngayon sa pag solve ng ES prime uh, ES2 FY all over FS prime minus 0.85 FC prime. Therefore, ang lalabas mo dyan is times 415 so divided by 404.09 minus 0.85 FC prime is 21. So, ang lalabas dito is 9 999.8 1 mm squared. Therefore, ang n total mo sa compression side, ito for tension side ah, is AS prime over AB. So, would be 999.10 all over pi over 4 multiplied by 25 mm squared. So, 999.1 over pi over 4 25 squared. So, you'll have 2. 2.04. So, in this case, it's the discretion, within the discretion of engineer na, ano gusto mo niya, gawin, gawin mo siyang 2 or 3. The proper way is to make it 3. But, since napakalit na niyan, baka may, factor, may other factor of safety ka naman, pwede mo gawin 2. Diba? Pero, for board exam, Actually, minsan lumalabas sa mga rin, ganyan ang sagot. May lumalabas sa 2 sa 3. So, it's up to you na. Okay? But for the theory, you have to make it 3. Ah. So, yun lang. Pag meron kang number of reinforcement, mababago lang yung ES2 mo, actual. Kasi, nag -up, nag, ano ka, nag-round up ka ng bakal. Diba? Nag-round up ka. From 5.27 to 6, nag-round up ka. Therefore, yung ES2 mo, Sa actual, mababago. Tataas. Kaya naging ganito. So, ang ES prime mo, ito na. Bakit kailangan baguhin yung ES2? Sir, nagdagdagan naman yung bakal ko ah, kasi naglagay ako nito. Ba't kailangan ko baguhin yung ES2? Kasi pag hindi natin binago yung ES2, ang makukuha natin na ES prime is yung ES2 dito. Dito. Which is tama din naman. Pero, hindi na sila mag-equal ng, hindi na sila mag-equal ng force. Kasi di ba dapat equal yung force nila para makamake na couple. Therefore, kung tumaas ang ES2 mo, dapat tumaas din ang ES prime mo. Okay? So, that's it for this video. And I hope to see you for another example. Thank you. Goodbye.